Okay guys, so now we can test it out and let's go ahead and see how it works just after the installation. We are expecting to adjust it. Okay. So that's the main closing speed and then that's the lash speed range. So when we're adjusting this, um, this door is gonna open 90 degrees. We'll call that the full open position. So the valve, speed regulation valve, um, labeled S, sweep, that's gonna be that main closing speed valve from the full open position to about 10 degrees before it hits the latch. So let's look at that speed adjustment really quick. Okay, that's the main sweep speed. And then that last bit where it sped up, that was the latch speed. So um, you always wanna follow ANSI standards, uh, but as a general rule of thumb, I like to adjust it to where it's a minimum of at least six seconds uh, from the full open position to the time it reaches close. Um, but again, you should always follow, uh, you know, ANSI standards and practice safety. And it's not, it's okay to even have it even slower. Uh, you know, if you know you have children or um, people with accessibility issues, uh, slow it down even more. It's it's totally safe to do that. You just uh, you don't want it slamming too too fast. So if we go ahead and just sort of count this. So it is a little fast. I'm gonna go ahead and first start with slowing down that main close speed, which is known as S or the sweep. That was from the full open position to about 10 degrees. So all we gotta do is we need to identify that speed regulation valve, which is labeled S. So here you can see the labeling. So there it is right there, S. So um, in order to slow it down, these are hydraulic closers. So um, with the idea of hydraulics, liquid cannot be compressed. So there are different chambers and these valves basically restrict the vein, so to speak, as the hydraulic fluid goes from one chamber to another. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, to slow it down more, I'm gonna restrict that hydraulic fluid more. So I'm gonna turn this and I, I like to do about anywhere from an eighth to a quarter turn at a time. So I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit to slow it down. So I did it. Now let's just do that. That's about a quarter turn. Okay, let's go ahead and check it. We may have to run it a few times. Let's go ahead and try this out now, guys. So, so that was that was pretty good for the main closing speed. Now let's adjust that latch speed because it is sort of slamming shut, and you don't want anybody's fingers to get caught in there. So the latch speed. The latch speed, guys, is the last 10 degrees, which was this little bit where it's going really fast. It's uh, denoted by the letter L for latch. So again, to slow it down, I'm just gonna restrict this, um, tighten this valve down a little bit more. So let's do another quarter turn here. Let's see what that looks like. Personally, I like to have it just creep shut. So let's go ahead and go to the 90 degrees. So it's still a little fast, so let's tighten it up a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it a little bit more here. For that. There we go. That looks good to me. It's not slamming. Now keep in mind door size and doorway will affect this. So this door, this door closer comes sized, uh, it's a adjustable spring power closer, but it comes sized for a 36 inch exterior door. Um, so I didn't have to adjust the spring power. I'll do a later video if you are in need to adjust the spring power. Um, but essentially, if you are, if you come over here, the spring power adjustment is this Allen bolt right here, right next to back check. And the instruction set will denote how many turns you need to do uh, in order to change the spring power size. Okay guys, so yeah, if, you're, if you have a larger door or a heavier door, and you notice it doesn't have enough power to shut the door, it seems like, um, that's when you're gonna wanna do 
the adjustment of the spring power, which is this uh, bolt right here. So it, given with the door closer is a set of instructions and there's a power adjustment chart and it will tell you your door size and how many revolutions you need to turn this in order to uh, increase the spring power of the closer model for your given door size. So that's something to keep in mind, but they do come standard set for 36 inch um, exterior doors, which is, you know, the norm. Um, but so one final thing is, like I said before, in summary, when you are adjusting this, you want the door to shut, take at least six seconds to close. And here's the final adjustment, guys. So that looks good there. Again, you always want to follow the most current set of ANSI standards in terms of safety for these. You don't want anybody getting hurt. And then the last thing you can check is the back check. So the back check valve is on this. And what this is gonna do is the last bit of pull, the pull open position, it's gonna be a cushion. Um, the reason for this is a lot of closers unfortunately don't come with this, uh, but ours does. And what it is is, let's say you have a wall or something here and somebody, you don't have back check. Somebody can rip the door open or maybe the wind catches it. The door will then hit the wall and shatter the glass, bend up your pivot hinges and just cause a ton of damage. Um, nobody wants bent frames. So, what this does is that saves that. So what I'm gonna do is, it's the same thing. It's the cushion before it reaches the full open position. Right now I don't feel any. If I were to tighten this the, all the way down, the door wouldn't move at all. So be aware of that. You don't want it to where the door cannot move. Um, one, that creates so much pressure it could actually cause the valves to blow, or the seals to um, rupture. So you don't want to do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down a little bit here and I had I had none so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it quite a bit here okay. I'm just sort of feeling it a little bit more okay, let's try that so Oh yeah, so right here, I really feel that cushion. Yep, and it's kind of hard, it's really getting hard there. So I'm actually gonna back it off a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, let's try it now. Yep, and I feel the breaking, so. Yeah, so that that's good. Um, Again, you don't want to overdo the back check to the point where um, it's completely stopped because in that event, let's say, let's say I adjust the back check to where it was completely stopped right here. Um, at that point, if somebody forces it, there's gonna be so much pressure it could blow out your seals. So you don't want that, but you just want it to act as a cushion essentially, to slow it down so that it won't slam open and that's what it does right now. You feel the cushion right there and then it should close and slow it is functioning correctly but again although back check is a great feature to have do not rely on it as your full open stop um, again it's used as a cushion you should always have a physical wall stop or a physical door stop um, because that's just going to put unneeded strain on your door control device right here so now guys, that's fully installed. Again, this is the top jam door closer installation. This is what you're gonna see on primarily all the storefront doors. Uh, there is another installation you can do for storefront aluminum doors, known as the parallel arm mount, where the closure body is mounted here, and there's a, um, a parallel arm shoe and it's mounted right under here. Uh, we'll go over that in a later video. Um, okay guys, so another thing to note, we just adjusted the door closer so that it's operation operating perfectly uh, but another thing to note let's say you're in a situation where the client is asking you to speed up the closing speed of this thing so when you want to speed up uh, the door closing you're actually going to be unscrewing that regulation valve the speed regulation valves so if you notice I always do no more than a quarter turn at a time um, the reason being is they are uh, they all do have seals on them. So if you get a point where you're unscrewing it at any time 
and it's starting to get difficult, don't proceed any further. I've had clients that have completely unscrewed the valves, and at that point, all the hydraulic fluid leaks out, and the closer is pretty much done for um, because they are a hydraulic unit. So when you're making these adjustments, do an eighth to a quarter inch at a time. Never unscrew the valves all the way. Otherwise, hydraulic fluid will leak, and the door closer will be ruined.